Tua Tagovailoa is in the concussion protocol. Bad news for Miami, his future is in doubt this season. What the future for Tua Tagovailoa is, at this point, is anyone's guess. Without question, this is the second concussion this season, and possibly three if you believe his hit against the Bills was also one. Many believe that he should retire. There are some close to the Tagovailoa family that has reportedly said his wife and family wanted him to retire after the hit by the Bengals. It has been reported that Tua went to the doctor himself regarding this injury which leads you to believe it was serious enough for him to report it. If this concussion is serious enough that he misses games, the Dolphins need to prepare for a future without their number one quarterback. It's not a knock on Tua, just a reality from a brutal sport, the Dolphins at least have yet to extend Tua, something they won't need to address for another year or two. On the other side, they also don't have the draft capital to move up in the draft to take another signal caller. For now, the Dolphins have Tua and Tua plans to play football. This, however, should be the wake-up call for Miami's executives. Tua now has a history of concussions and should he continue to suffer them, they will get worse and more frequent. If he continues to deal with these issues, his career could be over without him having to make that decision on his own. It's not something fans or the Dolphins want to think about but it is something they will need to address. I'm not talking about making Lamar Jackson a target or a Jimmy Garoppolo or other free agent. Miami needs to look at the draft and groom a quarterback that can take over should Tua's career crash down. Miami can't be afraid to pull the trigger on a high draft prospect for fear of upsetting Tua. This is the NFL and a business, quarterback wasn't going to be a big priority this offseason. The Dolphins would likely need to get another backup quarterback to replace Teddy Bridgewater because Skylar Thompson isn't ready yet. Now they need an experienced quarterback that takes the team over should Tua run into more head issues next season. It's not a discussion fans want to have but it is a serious situation that the team can't summarily dismiss and ignore. It isn't going to go away and every hit that Tua takes now will have everyone on the edge of their chairs waiting to see what happens next. The only way the Dolphins succeed is if they are prepared and preparing for the possibility of Tua not being available or not playing at all, is the reality no one wanted to prepare for.